Okay. Hello. There you go. I'll try to have a uh, title screen this time. And this Collins in China. This is my 30th vlog. The date today is, let me see, it is October 11th, 2007, here in Wuxi, China. This is my second vlog ever done from the uh, Wuxi Wuai Jia Yuan Apartments. Now, it's Thursday. It's my day off. And, uh, what can we tell? What did I do today? Well, the, uh, the wife and I and Tony went to the hospital for some examinations and stuff. Now, started off fine, but then um, right towards the end, it, this became a really, really sort of bitter experience because we ended up mm. waiting 90 minutes at least for what was essentially a six-minute sort of thing. They... Um, a six-minute operation. They weighed the baby, you know. They took his heartbeat. They, uh, you know, they they found out how long he was. Now he weighs about 11 gins, which is 12 pounds. Uh, his he's about 61 centimeters long, which is about 24 inches. Uh, he was the longest baby in the hospital, so they said. Well, anyway, but of course, we've seen for that we had to we had to wait the longest time though. Now anyway, as we say, we had to wait 90 minutes for this. And by the time we were there, we were the very last people that, that had to get this thing done. Everybody else had left. Now, we are actually kind of victims of what, I'm, what I would say in my other blogs is Q-jumping Chinese bitches. Yes, I was going to say that. Q-jumping Chinese bitches. Um... There was no way that we were the last people to uh, go to that area to get this operation done, this thing done. Now, I didn't think of it at the time. Like my wife went in, she dropped off the paperwork, and I guess we were waiting for them to call. Now, about, about half an hour, 45 minutes later, I'm starting to get antsy, as I will. You know, I'm not an antsy type. I'm not like I don't like s waiting. Don't like waiting at all. So I went to the wife and I said, how, long, how much longer is this going to be? How, long, how much longer is it going to be before we're finally going to get into the, um, into the office and do whatever it is we have to get done, done? And she said she didn't know, so she told me to go in the office and look for this pile of books. You know, I guess apparently what they do if when you go to the hospital or if you get a book from them the first time and you keep that book with you every time you go to the hospital afterwards. So anyway, Tony's got a book, and so we... My wife had handed them the book, and so they put it in a pile. Now, I went to check this pile, and it guess where our uh, booklet was? It was at the very bottom. At the very bottom. Now, I find it kind of weird that, uh, you know, people could walk in and actually look at the uh, look at the books and stuff and sort of try and uh, move things, you know. Well, obviously, it, it dawned on me that, you know, people can go into this pile and kind of cheat. Of course, the Chinese being what they are, they will cheat and uh, stick the, uh, I should actually say chai comps. sorry, I can't, I don't want to brand all the Chinese that way, but I'll have to say that something about communism does this to people, but anyway, um, obviously someone took their book and puts it higher up in the queue, and of course we are at the very bottom, and uh, I went to my wife and I told her about this, and uh, you know, she went in and she confirmed that this in fact happened, so anyway, Bitter experience. Uh, if you look at my uh, blog at uh, msnspaces.live, you'll see some some very biting comments about what happened, and you also uh, at uh, MySpace blog too. I've also made some very bitter comments. Um, anyway, I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. Uh, this morning we had our IE, and uh, she never she doesn't know how to use an iron. My wife had to show her how to use an iron to iron the clothes. Scary stuff. Scary stuff. I mean, this lady's in her 50s, and she's never seen an iron before. My God, my God. It was shocking. It was shocking. But anyway, well, whatever. We'll keep her going. We'll, we'll just give her a chance, see how she works out. But, jeez, not knowing how to use an iron is kind of scary. Absolutely scary. And last thing I'll talk about today, uh, Churchill. I'm reading uh, Ch Winston Churchill, an abridged copy, which I found at our school of uh, his, his memoirs from World War II. And like I say, I've read about the first three or four chapters. Very interesting. 
Uh, there is a line in there about, uh, you know, these people just sort of were just hoping that the trouble would go away, that Hitler would go away. You know, they put their heads in the sand. And, and of course, they showed them, that showed them. I think uh, we're in a similar um, situation now in the world. Uh, anyway, I don't want to get away from politics. And get away from politics for now. Anyway, I'll, I'll sign off today. If you want to, uh, you know, look at my um, my two blogs for today, October the 11th, and see how bitter I am about what happened today. Just amazed. I'm amazed. Having this, just since I've had the baby, you know, I've just wanted to punch out so many people. I just, just the gog at just how rude people are in public to each other here in China. How they, uh, you know, they, when they drive, they just, they have no consideration for others. It's like nobody else exists. Uh, they figure the rules don't apply to them. Uh, and today, today with, you know, just people being all smiley and at the same time they're screwing you by putting your uh, book at the bottom. Amazing. Anyway, till, uh, I don't know, if there is an end as Collins in 31, I uh, hope, you hope you'll come see it. Right. Good day. Goodbye.